So we've produced a seven minute track called Weightless, which features a sort of a range of instrumentation, some of it traditional, so piano, guitars. There's beds of atmospheric sounds, some, some more synthetic sounds, but it's all, it's all quite organic at the same time. I think sometimes when I'm doing music, you, you get into that kind of just that moment with it where you lose track of everything. So that's a really powerful experience. You know. That was what was quite interesting about this project. So sort of adding that scientific sort of side to it, looking at the sort of physiological responses to music in terms of you know, our tempo being able to drop someone's heart rate. We're really interested to see the end results because that's one of the reasons we got involved in the project, with the empirical testing of something that that is difficult to empirically test and we want to see how that works. My name's Duncan Smith, Managing Director of MindLab International with the Sussex Innovation Centre where we've been taking part in a test to look at the effects of uh, music on the brain. We wanted to know whether this track was actually a very relaxing track. So we tested this track against other relaxing tracks to actually put it in context, to, to validate the claim that it actually works to relax people. We started off with a huge number of tracks that people thought were relaxing. We used survey to bring it down to a small group of 15, and then we tested all of these in the lab against the Radox Spa. The second part of the experiment, we actually took the Radox Spa track, and we actually used that to compare it to massage, to actually see you know, what is the most relaxing, a massage or listening to a very relaxing track. And what we did is we used something called biofeedback, where we connected all our participants to a whole range of different wires and sensors to actually feed back from their bodies exactly how relaxed they were. I'm Liz Cooper, I'm a researcher and developer of uh, different techniques that use therapeutic sound to help improve health and well-being. Well, it was very interesting working with Marconi Union, obviously very experienced musicians in the ambient music field. And so what I was able to do was to to add in some therapeutic um, elements, therapeutic sound, into their, their music and give them some tips on, on what I would do as a sound um, d developer and practitioner. And they, they wove it all together into a lovely piece. And the sound works from the point of view of, of sustained tones, really help a person to feel safe. Um, so it's very random chimes and sounds that, that go through the piece. And what that does is it actually enables the person, the listener, to get out, out of the way and just really relax at a very deep level. Uh, I've just come out of the test and I feel really relaxed. So first thing that we found, which was really interesting, is that this truly is a relaxing track. And the second and probably more surprising finding that we found was that not just is the uh, music relaxing, but compared to a uh, massage, even though people absolutely loved the massage, really, really enjoyed it, it wasn't actually as relaxing as listening to the Radox Spa track. So if you want to relax, it could be on the tube and the train on the way home, sitting in the bath. If you've got a few minutes to spend on yourself, give yourself a little time and listen to the track wherever because it will still have the effects that you want.